simple and cheap active cooling for your Victron charge controller. What if we can set up a simple solution to actively cool this charge controller down? Using a small fan and a very cheap and affordable thermal switch. You can see that there, this is a 5 amp, 40 degree thermal switch. This is a normally open thermal switch and it closes the circuit once it reaches above 40 degrees. We are going to use the load port side of this smart charge controller. You can turn these on and off through the app. As we can see here, it is turned on we're reading 13.9 volts all right i stripped my wires this is going to be a very very simple circuit so on the positive end of my fan here we're going to hook up the switch doesn't matter which way it's wired up We're just going to temporarily do this just to see how it works. So this would be our positive. That's our negative there. We've got our switch. All right, just another check while we're here. There we go, 57, 58. It is a hot day today. It is a hot day today, guys, so it doesn't help. We are in summer in Australia. Just gonna temporarily tape this to one of these fins on the heat sink here, just to see how well it works. Get that in here like that. And any minute now, this will turn on. There you go, it's just turned on guys. You can hear a little click. And this fan is now pushing out air. Alright, I have temporarily set this up just on a couple of little rubber washers. You can see the sensor just in there. You can see the sensor just there and the fan. And this is now cooling. The great thing about this is um, this will just turn on and off when it's needed. Once it reaches above 40 degrees, this will turn on and hopefully cool down this. Um, this charger. The benefit of keeping components cooler rather than running hot is it the life expectancy. Heat does degrade electronics, even batteries and that. Heat, high temperatures or cold temperatures can um, reduce the life of your electronics. So by keeping this cool, we should hopefully get this um, make this charge controller last a lot longer all right, I need now guys is a way to attach this to the heatsink if you guys have got any um, ideas on how I can do that 
then let us know in the comment. If you are enjoying this video, consider giving us a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this. Alright, it's been probably five minutes or so guys, so we'll just see how we're looking. Yeah, we are looking a fair bit cooler. This is the hot part up the top here. That was around 60 degrees from memory, so it is cooling down a bit. Probably, probably cool down around 5 degrees Celsius. We'll keep it going for a bit longer and see if it cools down further. As you can see, the out the load output is 4 watts. So this little fan is using 4 watts, 0.3 of an amp. We're still putting in 210 watts into the battery, lifetime battery. We'll check the temperature. It's been probably 20 minutes or more now. As you can see, I reckon that's dropped a fair bit guys, that's the hottest spot there now around 55 degrees the rest of it's all looking around 40 43, under 50 degrees at least it is helping a little bit, it's only a small fan if you had hooked that up to a bigger fan or even put two fans on that then it'll work even better but probably been about 40 minutes now and as you can see, it has dropped a fair bit, guys. So the hottest part is now 50 degrees. And we're looking at you know 40 degrees in some of the coolest spots, so it is working. There you go. This is your simple active cooling circuit, guys. For anyone that wants a solution to actively cool yeah charge controllers very cool